48 North friends and fans, editor Joe Klein here with a special interview about the upcoming virtual wooden boat festival. Uh, like so many events in 2020, uh, the good folks at Northwest Maritime Center, who uh, of course you probably know are our parent nonprofit, uh, are pivoting in the, uh, in the pandemic reality. And their Port Townsend Wooden Boat Festival is uh, one of the year's favorite events for so many people, lots of folks who love 48 North, and uh, it's a truly uh, a favorite event all around the country, um, draws folks from all over, and this year is a year where it can't happen in person, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. Um, so here with me today, we have my friend and colleague and uh, former cruising partner too, uh, Barb Trailer. She is the festival director, and she's been doing that for about nine years. Nine years? Is that correct? Okay. Um, and uh, she's going to tell us all about the Wooden Boat Festival uh, that's going to happen virtually. Uh, it's a little bit, bit different, but it's every bit as exciting if you ask me. So um, Barb, thanks for being with us today. Uh, thanks for having me, Joe. All right. Terrific. Um, so a uh, quick overview. Can you, can you give us a sense about what the virtual Wooden Boat Festival is going to be like this year? Sure. So we had the opportunity to have all the, um, have some feature films created. And so we're very excited about that. They're all about 15 to 25 minutes in length. And those are really kind of our showcase of the virtual festival. And then we have, um, we're going to use all the net, all the stages that we have at the normal festival, like on the adventure stage, we're going to bring back and have some of the highlights from the past, um, some of the highlight presenters from the past festivals. And on the boat building stage, we've got the boat school doing a master class and off center Harbor is going to be showing some boats. And then on the discovery stage, we have some really amazing uh, interesting international stories for you as well as from the um, adventure stage will be the same thing and we have the small crafted stage where there'll be small craft adventurers as well as small craft builds so we've got all kinds of really cool uh, cool things to engage with it sounds terrific so let's talk a little bit about those films um, I know actually very little about them so can you tell us uh, uh, about a couple of the highlights Sure. Um, I, I, I'm sure you probably are aware of the Draken, which is the largest Viking ship in modern history. And we were just so taken with that boat. So we created a special move or special short film about them. And what's really cool about that is they plan to be here for festival either in 2021, if it's a good year to do it, or 2022. So we're very excited to be promoting them and telling some of the story from the um, position of the captain and the crew like there was a couple female crew that really tell what it was like they weren't big sailors and they did the north atlantic uh, on that open viking ship um, so pretty amazing trip wow. and then we've got the saba which is a cargo ship being built in the jungle in costa rica and that's just a phenomenal story so um largest cargo ship for under sale only. And I mean, it's, an, it's a really, really cool and, and very um, timely because they'll be doing um, engine, um, electric engines and sail cargo. So really, really cool and really appropriate for the times we're in. Wow, that's neat. And um, so can you tell us a little bit more about who's making these films? So when you say you're having a film made about the Draken, what, what does that mean? How did that process work? Well, we, um, we worked with Zach Carter, who created the Race to Alaska films for us. And then he hired filmmakers, uh, friends of his and people that he knew were good quality to create these individual films. So we've got six different filmmakers and um, I've seen a few of the finished products and they are magnificent. They are really, it's really exciting. Awesome. And speaking of Zach, uh, AKA the film boss for, uh, yeah, for right. tracker junkies like me, uh, there is an R2AK film that Zach's responsible for that is also affiliated with the virtual wood, uh, wooden boat festival, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. They, they started their uh, Kickstarter campaign for the race to Alaska documentary and the first showing of it will be available at the wooden boat festival. So we're excited that they partnered with us on that. It's an extra ticket price, but it'll be that night of the September 12th. Yeah. Something not to be missed though. I think. Definitely. You want to be there that first night. Yeah. yeah terrific. 
Um, and as far as the, uh, the presentations go, I understand that they're gonna take some different forms. Some will be pre-recorded, some will be live, some will involve Q&A. So can you share a few more details about those presentations? Sure, we have, um, we've been filming the past uh, five years at festivals. So we have quite a few of the highlights from then like Lynn Pardee and Matt Rutherford, Nigel Calder, some of the big, big um, headliners, if you will. So those will be pre-recorded and those will be on the adventure stage. And then we have some people that want to do it live, like Howard Rice and John Wellsford from New Zealand will be doing a presentation live that day, which is really exciting. Uh, Wendy Hinman will be doing one live and there's quite a few others. So we're, we're really excited about that. Terrific. And those live events, um, are they affiliated with some sort of interactive uh, option too for festival attendees? Absolutely, yeah. On, on the day of the 12th, um, those will all be done through Zoom and people can ask, do Q and A's after and chat questions to the experts through their Zoom rooms. Awesome, that sounds fun. Sounds very fun. Um, well, and speaking of uh, John and Howard reporting in from New Zealand, uh, I, I know that there has been uh, there have been global perspectives at Wooden Boat Festivals recently and this year. Uh, I know that there was going to be a special focus on Croatia, which is um, particularly near and dear to you and I as we had uh, led, uh, led the 48 North uh, Northwest Maritime Center um, flotilla there in uh, 2019. Um, but uh, can you share a little bit about how that uh, the sort of like the global perspective of Wooden Boat Festival is able to expand in this virtual format? Yeah, and that's probably one of the most exciting things for me um, recently. But having been here nine years and we've accomplished a lot, getting these um, global connections has really been exciting for me and being able to see boat building through other, like when we did the Japanese boat building, to be able to see what a different skill set that took. Um, and this year we were going to do Croatia and because we had made quite a few friends over in Croatia, we are going to showcase some of them as well. Um, we have quite a, quite a bit of coverage and we have boats coming from Croatia in the boat gallery and we have some video boat tours. So we've reached out to friends in places like that in Croatia and in Norway and in Turkey and in Australia. And so we will be having and sharing content from them that, and stories that people don't know about, you know, not just the typical things, uh, a very good friend that I met through the Croatia experience, uh, teaches boat building um, between a Catholic community and a Bosnian Muslim community. And they go to an island in between, and um, in between these two cultures. And um, they, have, they bring kids from state um, schools, state orphanages, and get them together to just break down bridges. So we, we try to showcase some things like that that are going on in the world that are just spectacular. Wow, that's, and so those will be in video format or is that a live presentation? How will that those work? Those will be in video format, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and just a word about these videos, you know, we've talked about the, the feature length documentary for R2AK and then you have the showcase short films um, that uh, the Wooden Boat Festival folks had made with Zach's help. Um, and so videos like that, are those long? Are they short? What should, uh, what should virtual attendees expect? We've got all kinds of uh, lengths. Most of the most of the newer content is like three to five to seven minutes long. Some are fifteen, and then the presentations, the traditional presentations from um, the uh, festival, are about forty-five minutes long. So we've got every every bit of content um, depending on what your attention span is at the moment. Yeah. Well. Uh... While the, the memorable stories from wooden boat festivals of the past might have come from beer tents or uh, large, uh, large audience presentations, I think the heart of the festival is a full, chock full Point Hudson Marina full of wooden boat festival and people on the docks sharing their experiences as stewards of these wooden boats uh, and other enthusiasts walking around and asking questions. And so how are boats on display as a part of the virtual festival this year? So we've got a couple ways. We've got the boat gallery, um, which will be pictorial, quite, quite similar to what we do now with all the boats that attend. And then we've got people sending in boat videos that they've taken of their boats. 
Um, and then what we're hoping people will do is also do Zoom rooms where if somebody wants to ask questions about somebody's boat, they'll be able to do that. Um, and we've, yeah, we've, we've tried to engage some boat owners to do happy hours on their boats and things like that. It sounds fun. So there'll be some, some ways for virtual community engagement, sort of like there would have been on the dock, but acknowledging that this is a whole different beast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Um, well, it just sounds terrific. Uh, you can be sure that I'll be there. And uh, I know that lots of uh, 48 North readers will want to be there as well. Um, so how do we do this from here? Uh, the, you know, the, the website is live and ready to purchase tickets, but can you give us a few of the nuts and bolts about uh, how this will work? Sure. So the, the content, uh, the website will actually go live on September 12th. And our first live class starts at 8 a.m. So with a master class from Sean Kuman at the Boat Building School. So, and then the, the live content will go through the whole day. Um, and it costs $20 for a ticket. So you want to go ahead and, and get that anytime. And it'll give you a code so that you can log back in at, at the time on the September 12th. And what's really wonderful about it is we're going to let everybody have access to the content for a whole month. So there's way more than you could possibly do in a weekend, quite like the in festival um, festival, quite like the in person. Sorry, and um, uh, so we'll give you access for a whole month. Okay, cool. So the live stuff all happens on September 12th, beginning yeah. at 8 a.m. But right. if you want to do the ask the experts or talk to any of the people, we'll have all the people from the feature films, like the captain of the Draken and people like that. So if you want to ask them questions or just watch them in a personal interview, we'll have a lot of that going on and that'll all be that day. But all the content will be available for a month afterwards. That's so cool. And uh, just to clarify, uh, the website that's going live the day before is the actual festival website, but right now there is a live festi festival website called virtualwbf.org, which is where you go to learn more and to buy tickets, correct? Yes, and that's okay. the official website for the virtual festival. Got it's it. a totally separate website. Okay, okay, yeah. that's helpful. That's helpful. Well, uh, we'll look forward to attending the Wooden Boat Festival virtually with you this year. And uh, hey, as, as uh, a colleague who knows how much work has gone into this. I want to thank you and the whole team for all you've done to, to not let this opportunity to celebrate the wooden boats and the, the, the community that loves them uh, adequately in 2020. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. All right. Terrific. Thank you, Barb. Another.